Hey guys, bike blogger here. On my way to work, it's a Wednesday, January, wow, a lot of wind. January, I don't know, is it 29th or something? 20, 28th or, I don't know. Last week of January though, 2015. Seventeen point six miles per hour. Have to stop here, looks like. Let's go this way. Today I want to talk about bike mounts. There are three different types. Uh, let's see. All right. There's a helmet mount, chest mount, and bike mount. That is a camera mounted on your helmet your chest or your bike. Ah. Right now, obviously, I'm, uh, I'm going with bike mount. Each has its pros and cons. Uh, let's just start from the beginning, I guess with the helmet cam. Helmet cam is probably your best choice for a safety cam if that's what your most important, that's what your priority is. Because wherever you look, it looks, obviously, mounted on your helmet. It also provides a pretty nice, pretty interesting viewing angle. Uh, but most especially because it looks where you look, which can be quite useful for uh, spotting things to your left or your right, where you normally wouldn't get in the video frame with the other mounts. cut down this way. See 13 miles per hour. All right, I'm about to get off my bike. Ooh. Hello. Well, you. <clears throat> Get back on my bike now. So I figured there'd be someone walking around back here. It's a little warmer today. Don't want to scare people. Everyone should yield to uh, pedestrians. And everyone above the food chain should also yield to bicyclists. Oh, geez, here we go. At least I slowed down that time. Dogs can be more scary than kids, though. that would have saved me some time but there's people out and about right now gotta yield to slower moving people um, 
At least that's how it's supposed to work. Once you start bike commuting, you'll see that no one seems to care or know how to treat. Uh, careful. Bicyclists, because there aren't that many of them. You don't encounter them very often. So back on topic, helmet cam. Like I said, big positive of that is it's a great safety cam. Um, although it has its negatives, it's not very comfortable. Putting a, essentially a brick on top of your head isn't comfortable and it makes you look really goofy. <laughs> uh, which leads me to chest cam. I love chest cam. It's a very immersive viewing angle. Uh, it can get sort of shaky though, unless you wear it really tight. Same sort of goes really for any cam though, any uh, mount. You gotta wear a helmet cam pretty tight. You need a pretty snug helmet so it doesn't move your helmet around. You should have a good fitting helmet anyway though. Uh, but for chest cam, uh, it is a little... Uh, a little bit of a hassle still because you got all these straps you got to deal with. <clears throat> and uh, that can be annoying. per hour. I do like chest cam though. <clears throat> Up. Chest mount that is. Chest mount cameras. It really though has the same uh, flaws of and maybe less so than uh, helmet cam it's uh makes you look goofy it can be a little bit of a hassle to deal with to carry around <clears throat> so that leads me to the third option which is sort of the middle of the road option, I think. And that's a bike mounted camera. It's not the best or the worst, in my opinion. If you have a, a good mounting system and or uh, some uh, fatter or wider tires that can suck up some of the vibrations on the road. It's actually quite a stable, not so shaky system, I think. Maybe even less so than chest cam, because with chest cam, sort of like with helmet cam, it's going to move with your body. And unless you're... Woo, wind! It is windy. Unless, uh, gosh, I feel like I'm going up a hill. There's all this wind out here. Um, unless you're very still and uh, very rigid and very, you have a very good tech, uh, form 
uh, of riding a bike, it's very hard to keep the camera from at least bobbing a little back and forth. And that can be a little, little difficult to watch, but the trick to it is, well, basically it, which is what makes it so immersive is it has the handlebars in the view and the arms. That gives you a point of reference. So they don't tend to move nearly as much as the background or actually I guess the foreground. Uh, you know, everything else moves or appears to move. Um, stop here a second, I don't know what's going on. Oh, they had some cones up over there. I'm gonna go past them though. Oh. Maybe it's paint. All right, let's go. I think it's fresh paint. Anyway, I don't have any paint on my tires though. Uh, so I think my two fit, I like them all. It's good to mix things up, you know. I think my two favorites though might be the bike mounted camera and the chest cam. Uh, what I really like about the bike camera is that it's, uh, well, you can do it with uh, more types of cameras. Uh, the chest cam really is sort of a unique thing about the GoPro camera, uh, which is expensive. Uh, but the bike cam, you can do it with all sorts of different cameras can figure out some sort of what system works best for you but what I like a lot about it is uh, it's it's not gonna make you look goofy because it's not attached to your body so it's pretty inconspicuous um, well we're going slow today 13 miles per hour let's step it up a little here 15 miles per hour 60 miles per hour 17 miles per hour. Um, <clears throat> I also like it because it's just really easy to, it doesn't take long at all to just stick it on your, your uh, bicycle and then, uh, and then uh, at least the way I got mine mounted, I can turn my handlebars and point it in different directions, that's sort of nice. <sighs> Additionally, I can get off of my bike and look at the camera, stick stuff in front of the camera easily, which I know you can do with the chest cam. Well, you can't get completely off your bike and just look at your bike. So, I mean, like I said, they all have their pros and cons. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have a all-time best. Uh, <laughs> I got a leaf stuck in my fender. There it goes. Uh, I don't have an all-time best uh, setup I could recommend to you. It's very much personal preference, I think. Um, but like I said, I mean, I don't really have an absolute favorite. I mean, the the best I think is you just mix it up. Don't stick with one thing forever, it could get stale, maybe. Uh, like I said, right now I'm sort of really liking the, the bike mounted camera setup. I feel with the chest cam, like I said earlier, the chest cam can get a little uncomfortable because you gotta get it on pretty tight. 
uh, so the footage isn't too shaky. And uh, and uh, even in the winter, I've noticed with it compressing like your uh, like your coat uh, against your your body, it can get pretty darn uh, pretty darn warm. It'll make me sweat. Feeling a little iffy right now in the door zone there. Well, guys, see you next time.